Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel NaveenReviews.com, your best source of product unboxing and reviews. And uh, today I am showing another part of the Final Cut Pro tutorials, which I've been doing uh, since a couple of days right now. And uh, this is my second video. So I hope uh, like if you are watching this video, you you are willing to learn Final Cut Pro or you are actually trying to use Final Cut Pro to make your videos more interesting and attractive. So I I was also very new to this product and I was not much aware of how to make a few things and uh, today I'm actually showing you how you can use your Final Cut Pro to actually do some intro music or intro to your channel or your video basically. So just open Final Cut Pro as I've done on the screen right now and click a new project and type in the name so i've already created one project uh, with the name of uh, i think uh, yep so this is it so in this folder i've created a project called how to make intro so this is the video so just uh, you you need not do anything here just click new project and type in the name how to make intro part one part one okay and just select the event whichever folder you wanted to create it and click ok so that brings you here so as soon as you're here just click the project and go to the text uh, effects and uh, drag and drop one of these effects if you want it uh, like if you wanted some some uh, background as such just drag and drop here but I don't think it will drop okay so yeah it has done so and uh, click this resolution here so I wanted it to be uh, full HD if we can change it to 4k yep so we have 4k here and uh, the rendering is always select this because that uh, is uh, i mean as far as i know it is it's better to go with the pre-default settings but if you wanted to change the frame rate you can always do it here so click ok so that brings you to this page uh, so this is a timeline wherein it got added and now go to the text effects and add some text uh, at this point let's make it a bigger so I think as of now, uh, let's make it 10 seconds because if it is more than 10 seconds, none of your uh, channel subscriber will actually be interested in watching the video because it's really time taking. And so once this is there, uh, just go to the tiles and add any of the tile effects here. So uh, which one do you think? I think this is better and nope, this is not so good and mm, 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 let's select someone which select the one which is you know appropriate okay this seems much better so let's drag and drop it here and let's put it above west yep and edit this so if you wanted uh, my channel name just type Naveen reviews com and just add in the text uh, whatever you wanted like for example uh, uh, let's type it final cut pro X tutorials so you can adjust uh, this uh, to, to, uh, this text effects to actually uh, come in this frame uh, by just I think there's an option to oops oh my goodness let's reopen it and see if if it is still intact or if it has just closed off right sometimes happens that uh, that this final cut pro fails all of a sudden just click it and yeah we are here so just come back here to the text effects and i wanted to move it there's a small uh, option here but it looks like it just missed 
okay that's easy i don't think it's much tough um yeah so i think we can leave it here so let's go back to our timeline and just click play so it's for 10 seconds so you can always reduce the timeline if you want it so what we can do is uh, we can drag this a bit longer so that it will be for 10 seconds along with our intro so yeah we can just play it and it just goes fine and now what you have to do is just in case if you wanted to add some music here you can always remove this and put some uh, intro to your uh, channel so that doesn't matter here so just go, go to this uh, tune store and just drag and drop um, any one of them let's um, okay let's let's put this and okay so uh, looks like i might have to maximize this and go here and you can actually zoom in or zoom out but i prefer always having it at the max uh, graph so that i can view each, each and every second and edit the timeline very easily so i always prefer going in this direction rather uh, zooming out this is just a small uh, not so big video so i don't think it should really uh, be a problem yeah and you can actually reduce the volume here yep so let's go and play it from the starting again and let's see how it goes nice yeah so that was a small um, procedure how you can do your intro video or clip in the final cut pro i hope you have liked it uh, keep subscribing and keep uh, leaving your feedback so that i can uh, you know do some more efficient videos which can help you out and that's it guys for today see you again bye bye